Example number one, negative one-fifth times six-eighths. There are four steps in order to solve this problem. Step one is to determine whether or not the solution will be negative or positive. And we can use the phrase, same signs positive, different signs negative, in order to determine this. Since the first number is negative and the second number is positive, this would mean different signs negative. Since one is positive and one is negative, we will know the solution will be negative. Step two, multiply the numerators. One times six is equal to six. Step three, multiply the denominators. Five times eight is equal to 40. And finally, step four, simplify if possible. Since both six and 40 are even numbers, I know that I can divide by two. And six divided by two is three, and 40 divided by two is 20. So we can simplify the fraction six over 40 to three over 20. If we pull up the factors of three and 20, we can see that there are no common factors, which means negative three over 20 is the final simplified answer. Example number two. Step one, negative or positive solution. If we look at the numbers, we can see that both numbers have a negative sign. So this will fall under same signs positive, which means our solution will be positive. Since that is the case, we can actually get rid of both these negative signs. This moves us on to step number two. Convert the mixed fractions into improper fractions. We can do this by multiplying the whole number by the denominator, and one times three is three, and then adding the numerator. So three plus one is equal to four. And we can convert one and one third into four thirds. Moving on to the second fraction. We first want to multiply two by five, and two times five is equal to 10. And then we want to add the numerator, which is two. So 10 plus two is equal to 12. So we can convert two and two fifths into 12 fifths. This moves us on to step number three. Multiply the numerators. 4 times 12 is equal to 48. Now we want to multiply the denominators. 3 times 5 is equal to 15. And finally, step 5. Simplify if possible. Since 48 is greater than 15, we know that this is an improper fraction. And we can convert an improper fraction to a mixed fraction. So first we want to find out how many 15s can go into 48. If we pull up the multiples of 15, we can see that 15 can go into 48 three times, and 15 times three is 45. So we know we will have three holes in this fraction. When we subtract the 45 parts from the 48 parts, we can see that we have three parts remaining. So our fraction would be three over 15. Notice I kept the same denominator. Now the final step is to see if I can simplify three over 15. I can check this by pulling up the factors of both three and 15. When I do that, I can see that I have a common factor of three. So I can divide both the numerator and denominator by three. Three divided by three is one, and 15 divided by three is five. So we can simplify three fifteenths down to one fifth and the final solution will be three and one fifth. All right, now it's your turn to try out this new skill. Multiply the fractions and your solution should be in simplest form. I recommend you pause the video now, solve, and resume when you're ready to see if your solutions are correct. All right, let's take a look. For number one, the answer is negative one-fifth. And for number two, the answer is three and three thirty-seconds. If you had either of these incorrect, I would recommend you pause, review your work, and see if you can find your mistake. 
Thank you for watching.